we will have a very good hour, the coming hour, because uh, this is a wonderful panel. I will introduce them only very, very briefly. You have their full CV in your folders, but uh, since this is the round table, which, as it says, deals with the most difficult questions, there is also no clear-cut distinction between, on the one side, the ones who know and the other ones who follow the advice. So this is my first suggestion. Let's start to think in terms of a complex and messy entanglement, but then let's try to untangle the entanglement as well as we can. Also, one of the other polarizations that very often come up in discussions has to do with facts and values. Facts are on the side of science, values are on the side of society. And I just want to remind all of us that facts become facts through a long and arduous process of uh, checking what are the empirical data, of validating the scientific community has to build consensus until something is accepted as a fact. So the facts are not just out there and given, but they are the product of the way how science works. And as we all know, facts can be overtaken by new facts, so it's also not written in stone. There are uncertainties, and I think one of the major uh, misconceptions that the public and also policymakers very often have is that turning to scientists, they want to get a clear-cut yes or no. And I would say with rare exceptions, scientists can never answer yes or no. They have to say yes under certain conditions. And they have to say no under certain conditions. And this, again, is the reality. And um, just one more word about values. Uh, science itself is also built on a very important value, namely the value of free inquiry. And we have also seen instances when this value of free inquiry was not honored. So we better also claim that values have to be on our side. So what I would like, after this short opening uh, words, I would like to invite the panel to speak about their experience. We will have also two case studies, which in a sense show the differences uh, that we have to be very much aware of, but we also learn from case studies and the differences they bring out. And uh, one um, underlying theme that I sense are also here represented in the room is the importance of timing. Timing in the sense when you want to have an impact on policy making and on action, the timing is of crucial importance. Uh, the, sometimes we cannot time events, sometimes they just overwhelm us. And this is always the case when a disaster happens or when a catastrophe strikes. And these are, unfortunately, looking back the history of human evolution, this is one way of how humankind learns, unfortunately. But it is also <clears throat> something that brings the public fully engaged to the, to the scene, and I think some of uh, our speakers will also speak about it. Then there are also the unintended consequences of actions, questions of scale, of breadth, of future outlooks, etc. So my first question to you, I have three questions. The first is speak about your experience, which you will do. Um, the second one is what you see to be the major challenges and obstacles if we need to negotiate these boundaries in the entanglements. The boundaries have become very much blurred, but we need to negotiate them. What are challenges? What are the obstacles? And the third one, do you have any concrete suggestions, solutions, wisdom that you want to leave us with? So I stop here and I turn immediately to, to Len to give us his uh, presentation. Thank you.